Hello. Today we're going to define and use global variables. First, we'll define and evaluate a global variable. Then we'll define a number of global variables using different functions. Finally, we'll show you different ways you can use global variables to simplify your workflow. Let's begin. Open a new worksheet and type x. Let's define x as a global variable by inserting a global definition operator. On the Math tab, in the Operators and Symbols group, click Operators. In the Definition and Evaluation category, select the Global Definition Operator. As you see in the tooltip, you can hold down the keys Control, Shift, and Tilde all together as a keyboard shortcut. Now type the number 3, and then Enter. X is now defined globally throughout the whole worksheet. Let's test that out by evaluating X meaning we'll enter an equal sign after it to see what value is returned. Great, that matches our definition. Now when you define variables, you aren't restricted to the top of the page. You can also use the right-hand side of your worksheet, where it's not printed. Here, you can even use global variables to define your own units. Now, let's jump to the next page of our worksheet. Here, we'll enter a new global definition for x. Looking back at the first page, we see that our new definition also took effect here. You can actually set a global variable on any page of your worksheet before or after your calculations, and that variable is automatically updated on all worksheet pages. For example, you could set the global variable on page 2 or 200, and that variable is fully updated on page 1, and vice versa. This is just one way that global variables can make your work easier. Now let's create a new math region, we'll type x again, and then insert the local definition operator by typing its keyboard shortcut, a colon. Now type the number 5. This local definition fails because x is already defined globally for the entire worksheet. MathCAD helps you use global variables by flagging anything that contradicts the global definition, stopping you from changing something you already globally defined. If you happen to globally define a variable using more than one value, MathCAD flags all definitions allowing you to choose the correct one. Now let's define a new variable, z, locally, and assign it a value of 1. Then we'll define a new global variable, y, as a function of this local variable, z. This global definition fails because z itself must also be defined globally. Let's define a new global variable, w, as 6. Now we'll define another global variable, u, as a function of w. Let's evaluate u. This definition and evaluation both work because global variable u is defined in terms of another global variable. Together, we defined and evaluated a number of global variables and showed you how to use global variables to speed up your workflow. Thank you for watching, and let us know what you think.